Hi guys, Marcel Harding here. Welcome to my painting channel. Hope you liked today's video. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and bang that bell. Tell all your friends about my awesome channel. Roll that intro and uh, cheers. Okay guys, this book is on uh, Leonardo da Vinci, book review, so we'll get into it. This is the front cover of the book. I've had this book for 10 years now, and uh, it's a bit tatty, as you can see at the top right. But we'll get into this book, and we'll have a look at it. This is a reprint. The first original was in 1994. I've this is a reprint 2002, I've had it for a long time now, and it's by uh, Maria Constantino, she is the author, Maria Constantino, and it's about Leonardo da Vinci from five, six hundred years ago, it's got the um, contents, it's got uh, Florence, Milan, Florence and France, it's got, um, this is a really good book, um, I just love this book. Heard it for so long. That's just the um, influence from the very beginnings. Uh, that's not a painting of Leonardo da Vinci, but on the right you can see Leonardo da Vinci's signature. Leonardo da Vinci. So that's pretty interesting. Now the painting on the right here, Leonardo da Vinci painted some of that painting. Uh, I think it's to the left. He contributed to some of it. I know that much. One of those earlier paintings. Now this one on the uh, left is um, Madonna and Child with a cat, believe it or not. So the, that one there, it was uh, painted in 1478. Now on the right, you can see some sketches of it. He even did some watercolors. And uh, on the left was School of Verocacho, Madonna and Child. I don't think he painted that one, but on the uh, on the right, he painted Madonna and Child with a vase. But uh, the one on the left, I think that was from his school. That he had a he had a class and he taught painting. So the one on the left, one on the right, he definitely painted that one. And in 1475, Madonna and Child with a vase of flowers. Now this painting here, uh, 1473 in oil, Annunciation. I mean, it was uh, one of the most famous paintings he ever did. It was um, really a, a famous painting he did. 1473. I mean, look at the details in the painting. It's just the trees in the background, the flowers in the foreground. It really is an amazing painting. 1473, he painted in the world. Just a stunning painting. As you see, he's done more sketches there. Sketches of flowers. Blocks. This one on the left, a portrait of Jan Janine Vera, uh, 1476. It's a fantastic painting. The one on the right was painted by uh, Andrea del Verrocco here. The one on the left was painted by Leonardo da Vinci in 1476. Fantastic painting. I mean, just look at the the details of in the background of the um, the trees and stuff. It's really amazing painting that one. I just love it. It's a more. He did a lot of sketches of hands, as you can see. Amazing. Um, again, that was from a school of 
Domekiel, Jurelet, or he didn't paint that. But that was uh, below on the right, the, what the town looked like in the 15th century. Uh, the one on the right, a Pontius portrait of Lorenzo II. I'm not even sure if he actually came with that one. This one here, it never got finished. Uh, 181481, and he never finished it. Adoration of the Maggie. He never finished it. What's a shame? I mean, look at the details. It's just amazing. This guy, Leonardo da Vinci, was a real draftsman. I mean, just look at the uh, the skill in his drawings. You see these two guys on horses having it out with each other. Just amazing. This here is uh, Saint Jerome, 18, 1481. Obviously, he never finished it. It's a shame. It's a guy, and there's, there's a line below it. It's a shame he never finished it. Human figure. This is uh, really 1485. He did this, and we all remember this. It's on postcards and books everywhere in the world. It's amazing. The one on the left is um, he painted in 1483. Madonna of, of the Rocks. There's another one painted 23 years later, but I don't think it was painted by him. This is an amazing painting. Just look at the skill involved. On the right, you can see the detail of the of what the lady with the finger pointing. Just incredible. And I think on the next page, we've got the detail of uh, Madonna herself. On the right, there's a sketch of her. Just amazing. Just look at that, 1483, painting that. That is an incredible painting, man. Look at the details in it. Portraits, wow, he could really paint. 23 years later, there's another painting of Madonna of the Rocks. Now, people are saying that Leonardo da Vinci did not paint that one, and I think he didn't either. I think this one here is actually a, a, you know, a forgery. I don't think Leonardo painted that one 23 years later. It just doesn't look like Leonardo da Vinci painted it. I mean, compare this one here. 23 years earlier, which Leonardo, Leonardo da Vinci definitely painted, to the one 23 years later. I think this one here is definitely not Leonardo da Vinci. You know, and it, it doesn't look as anywhere near as good. But that's just me, anyway. And on the next page, you show the details. I mean, if you look at the details of the child on the next page, you look at the feet and the hands. Leonardo da Vinci was a lot more accurate than that. But that's just me saying it, anyway. This next one on the left is Portrait of a Musician in 1485. Bellino. The one on the right was a really famous one. Lady with a uh, Ernine. 1485. That was an amazing painting. I mean, look at the skunk she's got there. Look at the detail in the painting on that skunk, that animal. That she, he, he was amazing. Look at this, this one here. Um, La Bella. 1495, really nice painting. Look at the uh, the red robe she's wearing. It's really outstanding. There's a statue there, La Belle. I don't know what the statue is. But um, one on the left is amazing painting. The, the red dress she's wearing is just incredible. He was well ahead of his time. I mean, you look at the drawings of the horses here. Look at the details in the neck and the legs and the muscles. Leonardo da Vinci was a serious um, architect. I mean, look at the even invented uh, back in the day. It looks like uh, tanks, which we have today. I mean, he was predicting the future. I mean, look at the uh, look at that Jolston and man, he could really uh, he could really draw. He was an amazing inventor. I mean, just look at the details in those drawings there. They're incredible. He was an amazing inventor. He only did about 20 paintings in his whole entire life, and he lived a long, a long age to his mid-80s. Just extraordinary. I mean, look at the details of that house. It's just This is a really famous painting, 1505, and then he came back in 1513 to... Um, and he did it in gesso. He painted this in gesso, not on oil. And as you can see, it's the Last Supper. 
painted in um, 1495. He painted the uh, the Last Supper. I think, yeah, 1495, the Last Supper. And as you can see, it's in bad condition because he painted in uh, tempera on on egg, not an oil. Painted tempera on on egg over gesso, not in oil on canvas, and um, it really faded badly. Look at the just look at how quickly it faded it's really faded but you can just see how really good that painting was it was amazing absolutely fabulous painting the last supper 1495 i think on the next page it's going to be even more detailed but the deterioration was pretty bad and you can't fix that i'm sure that the uh, experts would have tried but that's just the way it goes Some more details there. The picture below looks like Florence in the uh, early 1500s of what it, the town would have looked like where you lived. So you chapter about Florence. Uh, Virgin and child with Saint Anne and a lamb. This was painted in uh, 1508, I believe. And this looks like that's deteriorated quite badly too. You can see the, the drawings that he liked painting children and hands and feet because he's a real master. There's another sketch there. Um, Virgin and Child with Sam Anne again. Madonna of the Yawinda, 1501. Very nice painting. More sketches there. I don't know what that is so much. More inventions. Now we're going to be getting into Rome and France and uh, the Mona Lisa. We're going to be doing the taking a look at the Mona Lisa, which was painted in 1505, and he came back in 1513 to uh, it appears to make even more adjustments. I think he did some background adjustments paintings in 1513, but painted this in 1505, and it was only a small painting. He used to walk around with it for uh, quite a while he loved the painting Mona Lisa and it's a fabulous painting set the Louvre now and uh, it got stolen in 1911 for two and a half years someone just walked out with it <laughs> I mean, it's incredible they so eventually uh, caught the guy and got the painting back but uh, it's a priceless painting now you know it's just amazing I'd, uh, I'm gonna go to the window and have a look I've never been there so you have a look uh, this looks like it's from a school of Leonardo. He looks like Leonardo may have painted a little bit of it. I don't think he painted the whole thing. And just some more sketches there. Look at the look at the sketches he painted off the heart. I mean, look at the vertical and, and all the details of the heart there. It's just incredible. Amazing. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. That was um, I shouldn't have shown that. Here is a study of uh, on the right is Saint John the Baptist. You know who uh, was beheaded. 1509, he painted that. Saint John the Baptist. And I think he painted another one of Saint John the Baptist too. Over the page. Uh, this was in 1509, Saint John the Baptist. As we know, he got beheaded. And here's another one on 1513 of St. John the Baptist as well. And that may have been the last painting he ever painted. We don't, we don't really know. I'm not quite sure. But, uh, amazing painting, wasn't it? So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And bang that bell. Tell all your friends about my channel. And we'll catch you guys later. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.